Welcome back. If you just joined us, our guest on this episode of Question Time is the Honorable Minister of Communications, Honorable Adeba Oshitu. He'll be telling us more about the controversial 50 billionaire down payment by MTN and also the proposed out of court settlement by MTN. Don't go away. What exactly is the true state of Nine Post? These facilities are lying dormant, particularly with the emergence of telecommunications. Not many people, are, you know, uh, continue to, you know, post letters. So we believe that one of the things we can use NIPOS to do is because there are no banks in most local governments, particularly in the rural areas, let us bring into NIPOS financial inclusive services, some form of banking, if you like, you can call it rural banking, such that for the woman, for the old man in the village, whose son is in Lagos or in Abuja or Ibadan, from whom he expects, you know, payment of stipends of 5,000, 10,000 monthly. The son in Lagos, in Ibadan, in Abuja, should be able to go to a Naples office somewhere, you know, send 10,000 naira to the parents in the remote village, and Naples will get it paid real time. That is, almost immediately, the money is being paid into Naples. You know, the parents should be receiving it in the village. So we will do this and we'll invite private sector to participate in it. Again, we want to use NIPOS as call centers. It's not in every community that there is enough you know, broadband deployment to enable communities enjoy the benefit of GSM services. So we are trying to create call centers in all these post offices across the country. Again, we will involve the private sector in you know, providing these services through the you know, structure of Naples. China seems to feature prominently in your reform agenda. What role exactly would China be playing in this administration? One of the things which China is doing now is that it is providing services in the area of CCTV. That is the communication, you know, service which would ensure that our cities are safe. Where, you know, uh, um, circuit cameras will be placed all over communities to ensure that criminality is reduced or checked, you know, early enough. Yeah, Chinese companies are involved in this. The most important thing that we are expecting from China now is the fact that we have, as one of our agencies, what is called NICOMSAT, Nigeria uh, Communication Satellite. Already, for now, we have one satellite in orbit. Satellite is the medium through which a lot of data is stored and a lot of data is communicated and all of that. We have just one in orbit. Because we have just one, a lot of potential customers who should be patronizing our NICOMSAT don't patronize us because they don't have the trust that if anything happens to that one single you know, uh, satellite, their data could be lost irretrievably. So we are talking to Chinese uh, import export bank to you know bring in funding for us we need two more satellites which we are working on uh, each of these will cost about 250 million dollars uh, for which chinese companies are being talked to to bring funding of course some nigerian banks have also approached us you know to provide funding we will take proposals from both Nigerian companies and Chinese companies, and whichever is suitable, whichever is convenient, whichever is soft on Nigeria, is what we will take for the purpose of, you know, funding the establishment of new uh, satellites in orbit. We also understand that uh, the NCC is auctioning some spectrums. Could you shed more light on this? Spectrums are the invincible material through which com wireless communication is attained. And for both, uh, for all telecommunication companies, they need spectrum to be able to operate. It's just like you have a wireless radio. To communicate to another place, you need spectrum, you know, to do that. We are the, you know, uh, possessor and the regulator of spectrum. So for us, for you know, what, part of the job of NIPO, I mean, uh, for NCC, 
is that they license operators. But those operators will, we provide spectrum. The ministry provides spectrum to NCC to sell to operators. Cybersecurity is an important issue affecting Nigeria's uh, communications apparatus. What are you doing to fight cybersecurity? Already we have enacted a law, an anti-cybercrime law, which was enacted by the Seventh National Assembly at the tail end of its you know, administration. We are going to enforce the contents of the law very seriously, and you know, we're going to do that in uh, collaboration with the law enforcement agencies in Nigeria. So I want to show I want to assure you that the Nigerian government is not taking chances on you know, the fight against cybersecurity. Of course, the fight is a worldwide thing. It's not in Nigeria alone. In fact, for Nigerians, it is a new phenomenon. But for other parts of the country, you know, it's all, uh, you know, it has been prevailing. But I want to assure you that the Nigerian government is not even any stone on turn to ensure that we enforce the law on anti-cybersecurity. You announced a $300 billion funding gap to get to the promised land of um, Africa's communications infrastructure. What exactly goes into this? Now, essentially, it is about broadband penetration. Broadband is the lane of fiber optics throughout Nigeria to ensure that fiber reaches every home where you know, uh, it is required for you know, telecommunications, for internet, and for all of that. As it is today, it, the, you know, fiber optics are being laid essentially by the individual companies operating GSM and operating data services. Apparently, it is very clear that their financial capacity is limited. So we are consequently encouraging foreign investors to come in with their money, lay fiber you know, uh, cables to all the nooks and crannies of Nigeria so that you know, there would be sufficiency and deep penetration of you know, broadband throughout Nigeria. It is about funding, and we know that in Nigeria, we are industrious with regard to money. So apart from the GSM companies, which have been laid, a few companies like Main One and a few others, have also been making pioneering efforts in regard to provision of you know, uh, fiber optics to connect uh, homes and cities and communities. It's surprising that Nigeria could boast of um, an institute like the Digital Bridge Institute. But what are you doing to bring this institute into a world-class technological institute of repute? Really, it is amazing that the Nigerian Communications Commission under the Ministry of Communications has such a very big and very wonderful institution as the Digital Bridge Institute, which is, was set up in year 2004 for the purpose of training some manpower for the ICT industry in Nigeria. If you look at the campus here, made up of almost 15 acres, you would, I mean about 25 acres, you would agree with me that the facilities are first class, and there are fewer you know, private universities in Nigeria which have the type of facilities, physical structures here. It is my plan, by the grace of God, to turn this institution, along with its branches in Abuja and the Kano and Enugu, into Nigeria's first ever ICT university, to be able to produce first class you know, professionals on ICT. It will, by doing that, we will be able to consolidate on training for professionals in the ICT industry in the various sectors and divisions that the industry you know, is divided into. So it is my uh, pleasure and it is my determination to ensure that this is achieved within the next two years. By the ideas I have now, I believe I can succeed in transforming this into an ICT university with even less government funding. There are a lot of professional bodies out there who are stakeholders and who would be persuaded to bring in funding to transform this place into an ICT university, which will be not only the first in Nigeria, but also the first in Africa.
by the grace of God. Honorable Adebayo Shisu, thank you very much for making our time to be part of this episode of Question Time um, and also for clearing the air on the controversial 50 billion naira down payment to the communication sector, to the government, and also for unveiling your reform plan in the Nigeria's communication sector. We can only wish you the best of luck. Thank, thank you so much. very much. It's my big pleasure. And that's as much as we can take on this episode of Question Time on Channels Television. You may also send us a comment on our different social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the program. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashiru saying goodbye.